gospel of Jesus Christ that he would use us to his glory and for the building up of his kingdom. And also to pray for those that are going through in his life and in his spirit and his soul and his mind, uh, those that are uh, battling uh, off and on with this COVID pandemic. Uh, let us pray for those that uh, the Lord will keep us safe and those that have uh, contracted it, that the Lord will deliver them. Bible study on tonight. There's something to be said that to encourage us, to inspire our hearts. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Are there any other particular prayer, prayer requests? All right. Let the church stand and let us every heart pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you and praise you for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come together one more time to be in the household of faith. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you bless each and every request that's been made known to you. We ask you, Lord, that you sanctify our hearts, our minds, and our spirit. And we ask you, Lord, that you bless us even as we travel over the highways and the byways and as we uh, carry about our business, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that you be in our hearts, be in our minds, and our spirit. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that you protect us from danger, seen and unseen, uh, rebuke death, Rebuke the Bible and bless our Bible study on tonight. Let your word have its brief course, eminence in our hearts and our minds. Father, we thank you and praise you. Clear your thought and speech. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. We want you to turn with us over to the uh, book of uh, St. Peter, uh, uh, 2 Peter, uh, chapter number 2. 2 Peter, chapter number 2. We concluded 2 Peter uh, chapter number 1. There's a God and there's a love. Amen? 
So, so I'm saying that to say this is that uh, uh, where there's good, evil is always lurking around. And uh, when Peter is still in the moment of exhorting, and he's exhorting the saints, don't be ignorant, brother, you know, of, of, of the fact that uh, there's not only going to be true prophets, but there's going to be false prophets. Yes. Amen? Yes. And, and that's nothing new. Uh, if you were to study the history of Israel, they were always influenced. The, the, the Israelites, the Hebrews, they were always influenced by evil. Uh, they were always influenced by evil. They, they, they served evil while they tried to serve God. Amen. They, 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 they lived their lives that way. That's the reason why they got into trouble. Uh, multiple times is because they, they were always looking for an opportunity to serve the devil. Now, 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 to me, you know, God had chosen them to be a special people, a people that were called out. So you would think that they would be exclusively dedicated to God. But uh, a majority of them were not. Amen. A majority of them were not. They had a desire, a literal desire, to serve and to do evil. And they did it uh, for various means to control the people, to control finances. To uh, control the kingdom in their own lives, you know, and to make allegiances with other nations so that they can be like them, you know. So we have to be, a be, be aware. And then one, one, my God, I don't want to get into all that, but one, one great battle was, you know, uh, King Ahab. He was, he was the, one of the most wicked kings that God even disinherited him and his whole family. He married that, that the wicked woman Jezebel. And, and they established a group of, of false prophets. Wherein Elijah had to go in up there. Do y'all remember the story about Mark Carmel? And, and while he was up there, he met up with those false prophets. And he was to them, he said, uh, 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 gave them the ultimatum. If God be God, serve him. If, if Baal be God, serve him. He said, choose you this day whom you're going to serve. Amen? Amen. So God the story how he confronted them, that issue. And, and they were uh, ultimately uh, uh, showed up by uh, Elijah that God was the true God. But my point is that there were uh, over 400 uh, false prophets that Israel was influenced by uh, because of that relationship with Jezebel. Amen? So Peter, uh, in this particular scripture, is, is, is not saying anything new as, as much as he's exhorting us. Amen? To be aware. So we see here, then in 1 Peter chapter number 2, in verse number one, he says, but they were false prophets also among the people. Amen? Let them know that there were false prophets among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. He's encouraging us to keep our eyes open. Amen? There's going to be false teachers among us. Notice, he's, uh, we in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse number one. He said, uh, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse number 1, he says, But there shall be false prophets among, uh, among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately uh, shall bring in damnable hearsays, even denying the Lord that brought them, and uh, being and bringing upon themselves swift destruction. Now, that verse there, it's a mouthful there. And uh, before we go any further, I want you to, 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 to hold that and just uh, go with me uh, to Deuteronomy, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13. Deuteronomy, chapter 13. 
to hold that hold where you are, but don't go back to it. Just trying to give you a foundational scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 13 and verse number one. We have a say name. All right, Deuteronomy chapter 13 and verse number one. It says, uh, if there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and give it thee a sign or a wonder. Now notice, he's talking about, now he's talking about false prophets here too. They give you a sign and a wonder. Alright? And the sign or the wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods, which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. See that? Uh, they Deceive the people with signs and wonders. And then they slip in, let us serve false gods. Amen? Let us serve false gods. Uh, the verse number three is what we should do, is the response. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet. Amen? Or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God proved it. The reason why God allows false prophets to be around because he's, he, he's, he's proving you. Amen? He's testing you. Uh, God can't uh, tempt you with evil. Uh, but he, he wants to see where your heart is. He wants to see where your desires lie. Amen? He said he proved you to know whether you love the Lord, your God, or with all your heart and with all your soul. So that, 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 that's an admonishment to us. If you're going to walk with God, you got to love him with all your heart. Amen? If you're going to be fruit of uh, false doctrine, you got to love the Lord with all your heart. Amen? And with all your soul. Uh, uh, and there's a reason for that. Because when, 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 when evil comes, that, or evil desires come, upon us, right? And we want to do something, amen? And we know that we should not do it. Huh? But, but it's upon us to do it. We want to do it. And we know what God's word says about it. There's a fight, there's a struggle within the individual, amen? And the only way God will win is if you love him. If you don't truly love him, you'll find yourself doing that which is evil, making excuses for your actions. Amen? Y'all follow what I'm saying? Uh, if, 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 if. if you don't really truly love God, uh, you'll, you'll accept that which is evil and do it and justify your own self. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, so, so that's why you gotta love God. Amen. With all your heart. Amen. You gotta love God with all your heart. Uh, and with all your soul. And when it when it says heart and soul here, it, when it says break that down, that heart is your desire, your will, your intellect. Amen. And your total being has to love God. Hallelujah. Has to love God. All right, so, so having said that then, let's now go back over to 2 Peter uh, chapter 2 and verse number 1. It says, but there were false prophets among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. So there's going to be some false teachers that are going to creep in among us. Amen. I was, I was searching my heart this morning. I said, Lord, do I have any false teachers in Christian ministries? Mm -hmm. And thank God that popped up. Mm -hmm. But you know, I ain't going to be dumb. <laughs> Gotta keep your eyes open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta keep your ears open. <laughs> thank you, Lord. So we see here, he says, there shall be false teachers among you. Now notice that word, who, who primarily shall bring in damnable piercings. And that, that word primarily means, it means this. It means that they're going to come in, those false teachers, they're going to come in, and that word primarily means walk alongside of you. And at first, they're going to 
of being in agreement uh, with you and the word of God. Amen. They're not going to come in and say, uh, 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 Jesus is the Antichrist. People are going to back up from him. Yeah. Amen. If they say something outlandish like that. Uh, but, but they're going to come in and agree with the doctrine. Agree with the word of God. But, but, but as they walk alongside you and gain your confidence, they'll start slipping in with the scripture says here, here says, uh, and, 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 and doctrinal doctrine. Amen. Here says is, is, is doctrine that is against the truth. Amen. They're going to bring in words and, 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 and suggestions. That, that, that will try to turn you from light to darkness. Amen? So you got to watch. you got to watch and pray. Notice what he said. He says in uh, 2 Peter chapter number 2, verse number 1, who very privily shall bring in uh, uh, damnable hearsies. And that, that, that word hearsies literally means teachings. Amen? And, and notice, they're damnable. If you if you receive them, it can, it, the only outcome is hell. Amen. And the only outcome is hell. So you gotta watch. You gotta watch. That's what Peter is saying. Amen. He says, now they're they're even they're gonna be denying the Lord that brought them. And that and that there that statement there means they're literally gonna be denying. Uh, that God bringing salvation, the plan of salvation. Amen? They're going to tell you and teach you, you don't need to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Amen? They're going to teach and that you don't have to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen? They're going to teach that you don't have to uh, 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 live up to the word of God. Amen? Mm. Tell you that you can have a life as a girlfriend. Mm. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, stuff that's down to it. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Stuff that's down to Now, look, and, and because they bring in that, and they bring upon themselves, the scripture says, swift destruction. Swift destruction because of their false teaching. False teachers really got a way to watch themselves. Amen? Hallelujah. They got to watch themselves. And, and, and this is not new doctrine. Let's go over to Matthew chapter 24. And, and uh, Matthew chapter 24, that's, a, that's, a, that's an awesome uh, scripture that Jesus is teaching. But, you know, you, you got to get you a, 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 a Bible and, and, and a coin, and you got to get you some, uh, 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 some good, some good sound uh, commentary to help you. Amen? So, so Matthew 24, in verse number five, Jesus is saying this. He says, For many shall come in my name. And that many people shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, meaning I am anointed. And do what? And show what? Deceive many. Amen. How do they deceive? They lay hands on people and they get healed. Amen. Hallelujah. They, 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 they preach to people and inspire them to gain their confidence. But, but inwardly, they're, they're rebel wolves. Amen? They come, they come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they're rebel wolves to deceive you. Amen? Hallelujah. Now notice, notice, notice. Uh, drop down in there to verse uh, 11. What he said? And many false prophets shall arise and do what? Deceive many. So you keep saying that. You're going to deceive, deceive. And who, who's the master of deception? The devil. The devil. So you know they're his prophets. Uh -huh. uh, who, who the word says he transforms them into angels of light. Amen. But they can't live holy. In heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. And then uh, uh, drop down then to, to verse 24 in that same chapter. He said, For there shall arise false Christ. He's keep repeating himself. So anytime we, we studied the scriptures before, when he keeps repeating himself, he's doing that for what? 
what point? Emphasis. Amen? He's making, he's making a point of emphasis that we must pay attention to. And Christ is teaching this. Amen? So we must pay attention to it. Hallelujah. Notice, notice what he said. He says, for there shall arise false Christ. And that word Christ there uh, literally uh, means anointed one because they're false. They're antichrist. Amen? A lot of antichrist. Not just one. <laughs> Not just only one antichrist. It's going to be a many antichrists. Amen? False antichrists, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders. Amen? Lord, we preach in your name. Lord, we heal in your name. Uh, and Jesus, he's going to say, uh, depart from me, ye work of iniquity. I never knew you. Amen? So he says, uh, they're going to show great signs and great wonders. And even in the book of Deuteronomy, when we read that in the 13th chapter, it told us if they show you signs and wonders. Amen? But, but listen to the end of their conversation. Are they trying to sway you away from God? Amen? Uh, uh, false prophets, they like to uh, work on the unity of the brother, the unity of the church. Amen? To destroy that because he knows, the false prophets know, that where the disunity is, there's a weakening in the church. There's a weakening in the body. Amen? But when people come together, God says, behold, how pleasant, how, how, how pleasant it is, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Amen? Amen. Now notice, he says, for there shall arise false Christ, false prophets, and show great signs and wonders in so much that if it was possible, <laughs> they, would, uh, they shall deceive the very elect. We are the elect. Amen? Uh, and they're going to be so shiny uh, that if it was possible, uh, if it was possible, they shall deceive us even as, as, as we walk with God. Amen? Uh, so, so we got to watch. Amen? Thank you. We got to watch. <laughs> watch it, man. Hallelujah. Watch it, man. Every, everything that glitters is in gold. Amen? Uh, everything that glitters is in gold. Hallelujah. Now, uh, let's go back over. Let's go back over. Uh, uh, 2 Peter chapter number 2 and verse number 2. Now notice, and, it's, and it says, uh, and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth is evil spoken of. Alright? Now, he said, many, amen, shall follow their pernicious ways. That word pernicious there, it means damnable. Uh, their damnable ways. A lot of people. And Jesus, Jesus, he taught this again. My God, we can reference Jesus all the way through here. He said, enter ye into straight gate. For straight is the way gate that leads to life. And few there be that buy it. He said, broad is the way, and wide is the gate that leads to what? Destruction. And many go there. Amen? Oh, there's, there's, there's people that's going to follow uh, damnable doctrines, mm. amen. Damnable teachings, mm. watered down gospels, yeah. amen. Oh, uh, yeah, to, to, to get people in the mindset that it don't take all of that, yeah. amen. That, that you don't need to tighten up your girth, amen. There, there are doctrines out there, once saved, always saved. That's damnable, amen. These scriptures, they, they show that that's not the truth, that's not the, that's not the way of God. Now, no. He said, many shall follow their pernicious ways, and her pernicious means damnable, by reason of whom the way of truth is evil spoken of. They're going to speak evil of the, the way of truth. Amen. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Yeah. And, and, and these false prophets, they're going to speak evil of Christ, speak evil of holiness. Speak evil of the way of, 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 of God. Amen? So he's got a lot. Got a lot. The people say. Huh? And watch what they do, but also watch what they say. Don't give your ear and your heart to any and everybody. Amen? <laughs> you can't do that. 
So we're going to see it. Verse uh, number three. He says, And through covetousness, uh, they shall with vain words uh, make merchandise of you. And covetousness means uh, that, that, that they go up. Uh, one is something that doesn't belong to them. Amen? And with vain words, those that word vain there means empty. Uh, with empty words. In other words, giving you empty promises. Have you ever been around somebody that's made you false promises? Empty promises? Empty words? You say, I hear you talking, but I know you're lying. Hallelujah. That is a great song of words. Thank you, Lord. I oh Jesus, I'm about to get in trouble. <laughs> but I I, I, I I know a person, amen, that that uh whenever he was talking, I knew he was lying. Amen. That's how much he told lies. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And I, that's what vain means, empty. Uh, no value. And then we use these words that are empty and of no value. And they merchandise of you. In other words, false prophets will use trickery to, to use you up. Uh, chew you up and spit you out. That's what the devil does, doesn't it? Uh, he, he makes a fool out of you and then he laughs at you. And that's what false prophets do. Uh, they make a fool out of you and then laugh at you. Talk about you. Amen. Hallelujah. Now notice. Uh, uh, notice, he says, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. In other words, false prophets, God is going to get them. Amen? God is going to get them. Now, verse uh, number four, he says, For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Now, notice, here, here, is, is switching up his argument. In other words, he's backing it up with his sin. And he's, he's backing it up with the events that has already taken place, that has already happened. So he's saying here that for if God spared not the angels that sin, angels sin, uh, uh, there was a war fought up in heaven because they, they sinned against God. The Lucifer, uh, the, the, the angel of, uh, the, of God's heavenly fire, uh, got into his mind that he wanted to be like God. And he sinned against God and drew away a third of those angels. Amen? And uh, those angels that, that sinned they're not going to go away scot free. Amen? Hallelujah. That was the original purpose of hell. It was for the devil and his angels. Amen? That was the original purpose. Notice, he said, if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down into hell and delivered them in, into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. And spared not the old world. The old world he's talking about was in the days of Noah. And you know, you know the story of Noah. Uh, there was a lot of wickedness that was going on in Noah's day. Amen. And the Bible says literally at that time, their hearts were on evil continually. Amen. So like today, <laughs> a lot of people's hearts are on evil continually. Amen. Hallelujah. The only reason why God has not destroyed the world is because now we're under a dispensation of grace and mercy. And but God says He's not going to destroy the world with water. He's going to be destroyed with fire. Huh? Uh, coming out this time. Thank you, Lord. But notice, notice who's judgment? No, notice. Where's the Five. Five. Oh, five. 
that you should have been righteous and holy, but now you're going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah. That was that was a literal uh, seven days, amen, to them to 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 liken them unto Sodom and Gomorrah. And a lot of people, even in today's world, uh, reason why God destroyed it was because of that homosexuality that was going on there. And, and God is not with homosexuality at all. No. Amen? At all. And, 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 you know, people nowadays are trying to bother that down like God, like God changed his mind concerning it. But Jesus said, in the day of my coming, it's going to be like it. And then he said, uh, a true prophet, uh, like Sodom in the morning, it's like that now. And then you can't watch a commercial and, and not see uh, 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 two men kissing, uh, two women sitting around petting the dog. Uh, and, and, <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, 
All right? Now, what I mean by that is uh, the scriptures bring out that, that in, in the book of John, in the book of St. John, and it talks about how uh, they were of us, but they left us, proving that they were never among us. Amen. Amen. So, so those that, that, that come in and, and, and they didn't even get a form of God, those are the ones that are going to be falling away. Amen. Uh, to show that they were never really truly, uh, truly saved. Amen. Uh, they just had a form of God. Thank you, Lord. But they were never truly saved. So those are the ones that are going to be falling away. The elect of God. They make their calling and election shoot. Come on now. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, so they won't fall away. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Good question. Good question. Hallelujah. Sit. Uh, you don't, you don't uh, 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 speak ill of them. You don't, you don't cuss them out, so to speak. You don't talk about them. You don't run them down. You don't follow them, but you give them honor. You give them honor and respect. They want a cup of coffee. You give them a cup of coffee. You don't spit it. Um, you don't, you don't, you don't, uh, uh, you, you do good to them. Treat them with respect. Treat them with love. Treat them with kindness. Now, right. uh, when it comes down to what they're teaching, uh, because they're false, you don't you reject that. But you reject it in a respectable way. Does that answer your question? Amen. Amen. Uh, it's good. It's good. Thank you. Alright. And also too, uh, like David, always from back on what he did with Saul. When 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 Saul was delivered into the hands of David, David showed him mercy. Amen. He didn't he didn't expose Saul. He didn't kill Saul. Amen. He let God handle the business. So if you may have a wicked pastor and you may have some video of him being wicked. <laughs> you follow? Uh, some pictures of him being wicked. And, and uh, the thought may come to you that you want to expose him. Uh, don't expose him. No. Let God handle it. Right. Amen. Let God, let God deal with it. Huh? That's, that's your own mind. Right. Amen. Thank you. That's mercy. When you have it in your hands to, 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 you know what I'm saying, put your foot on their neck, you don't do it. No. Huh? The Bible says, blessed are the merciful, huh? but they should obtain mercy. Right. <laughs> this is good teaching. This is good teaching. Yes, it is. Thank you. Uh, I know it goes against our spirits <laughs> But that's good. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Because, because it's iron sharp as iron. Right. <laughs> so sharp as man that counts his other strength. All right. So we see here. What verse we? About that 10. 10? Mm -hmm. All right. But chiefly, them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanliness and despise. Oh, that's what we got to all that. They despise government. Amen. Watch out for people who are teaching you to despise authority. Amen. Who are telling you to, to despise authority in any area. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, note. Note. Presumptuous are they self willed self willed they are not afraid, no, to 
to speak evil of dignitaries. That goes back to my answer about how do you respect them. You don't speak ill of dignitaries. No. Don't speak ill of leadership. Yeah. Amen? Why? Because they are sanctioned by God. Even though they're ungodly people in leadership of positions, yeah. God honors the office. Yeah. Amen? Hallelujah. And let God deal with the person. Amen. Vengeance belongs to God. Right. He will be there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now note, he gives us an example. Verse 11. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, angels are greater in power and might than we are, bring up a railing accusation, accusation against them before the Lord. Here he's literally speaking of the Jews speaks of, about, about Moses. Uh, when Michael uh, uh, was rebuking the devil over the disputes, they were disputing over the body of Moses. Because Moses, he, he was supposed to speak to the rock, uh, but, but he hit the rock. And for that, God told him he was not going to go into the promised land. So Moses died over in the land of Canaan, but he saw the promised land with his eyes. And when Moses died, the devil showed up. He said, oh my God, I'm coming to claim. Amen. Uh, but, but somewhere down the line, God forgave uh, Moses. Amen. And, and, and Michael had to contend for the body. But he said that uh, uh, Michael didn't bring a random accusation against the Greek man of He didn't call him that. Uh, he, he respected the devil's authority. He respected his position. Yes. Amen. All he said was the Lord in <laughs> you. Right. Uh, and, and took Moses' money back to glory. If you allow me to say it like that. Amen. So he's given us an example. You bump on um, your way. Even, even, even God, uh, his angel, respected the authority of the devil. Amen. Did we make an accusation against him? Amen. Um, so we ought to respect others. Amen. Um, we ought to respect people. Amen. Right. Um, we ought to make great accusations against people. Amen. Yeah. And, and I'm not saying what you're saying is not true. Uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, right. But what matters is uh, uh, you or we do it. That, that bring down leadership. <laughs> Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time to shine. Amen. Hallelujah. Now look. He says here, the reason why, once again, I want to make this plain, is because leadership is instituted by God to accomplish his will upon the earth. Amen. Uh, and what did I say? The three main institutions of God are church, church, family, family community. community. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. God brings about His will through 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 those institutions. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, All right. Now, uh, chapter two and verse twelve. He says, but these as natural brute beasts. Now this is Peter, Peter is uh, going in on those false teachings. He comes, he comes natural brute beasts. Uh, uh, made to be taken and destroyed. Now notice, they're made to be taken and destroyed. That brings uh, up the, the thought of uh, Judas Iscariot. Uh, he came into the world uh, to deny Christ. That was his whole function. Amen? He was made for destruction. Uh, uh, King Pharaoh. Amen? Pharaoh. He was made a vessel for destruction. Amen? Oh, my God. It's not to him that will it, that will it, or to him that will it. But to him, God showed him mercy. Amen? Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. Now, note, all souls belong to God, don't they? Amen. 
No. He says, but these as natural brute beasts may be taken and destroyed. They may be taken and destroyed. They are uh, talking about these false They speak evil of things they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. False prophets, false teachers. Amen? Oh, man. Verse 13. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they that counted pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots. Uh, they are in blemishes. Seems like him and, him and uh, Jude uh, were working together. <laughs> they must have read each other's epistles. Uh, spots. Uh, they are in blemishes, spotting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Amen? Uh, so you got to watch out for people. Uh, right. False teachers. They come in uh, uh, praising the Lord, worshiping the Lord with you. But, but they're spots in the beast. Amen? Uh, they, they have other ulterior motives. That makes you want to watch and look out for everybody. Uh, don't be careful. <laughs> but but you know you gotta watch for people. Yeah, you Amen. Do. Keep your eye out. Amen. Everybody that uh, walk uh, looking looking for you to do it got a bad motive. Come on now. Amen. Get them right. Out. right. Thank you, Lord. All right. I know. Uh, verse fourteen. Note how the eyes full of adultery. See that. Let me know that they never really overcome it. Amen. Eyes full of adultery and cannot cease from sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, beguiling, notice, unstable souls. That's how you want to be rooted. That's how you want to be grounded. Uh, so, so you don't be carried away uh, with them to God. You know, there was, uh, it was happening even here. I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. But, but, but these scriptures bear it out. There was, there was uh, a congregation wherein uh, uh, the, the pastor himself, uh, my God, wasn't living anything. Amen? And when he was taken away, they were like sheep without a pastor. They were scattered. And you know, they they wouldn't congregate, they wouldn't go to any other church, they were waiting for, for this individual to return. Amen. And that 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 bothered my mind. You know, why? What kind of spell? What kind of what kind of witchcraft? Uh, because that's what we're talking about here. Witchcraft. Uh, what kind of what kind of what kind of what kind of doctrine? Uh, that, that, that individual wouldn't call that individual, those individuals, that, that made them like that. Amen. We've got to watch. Uh, and not only that, we know about Jim Jones uh, and Diana. Uh, uh, we know about uh, David Koresh or whatever that is. Uh, something like that. That stuff happens. Amen. Watch. Thank you, Lord. Watch. Now we see you there. Hallelujah. Give myself a job. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Thank you, Lord. Notice me. Uh, verse 15. No. Yeah, am I in verse 15? God help me. Mm -hmm. What verse are you in? Uh, what verse are you in? I'm in 2 Peter chapter 2. 13. Verse, verse 15. I'm in 13. All right, I'm falling around. <laughs> Second Peter chapter two, verse fourteen. Fourteen. Yep, that's it. Having eyes full of adultery and cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls and a heart they have uh, exercised with covetous practices. Curse, curse, children. Amen. Notice. He told them those wicked prophets cursed, which have forsaken the right way and have gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Bosom, uh, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Now, what Peter is bringing here again 
is another example because uh, Balaam, he was literally a false prophet. And he counseled the children of Israel or the Moabites, which was Lot's descendant, uh, uh, which were the Israelites' cousins, because Abraham and Lot, uh, that was his nephew. And, and uh, he was, he used, uh, uh, inspired the Moabites to inspire the children of Israel to, to, to live a lustful, evil life. Amen? That was his thing. He was trying to influence them to, to, to love evil things, to go after evil ways uh, for money. Amen? For money. So, so, uh, Peter is bringing this up, that false prophets, they are usually after evil gain. That's why I use the word merchandise. They want to use you up. Amen? Look, <laughs> 
Then the beginning. Let's read that again. This, this comes directly against that doctrine, once saved, always saved. Amen? For if they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they, they got saved. Then they turn around and they are entangled again. Backslide. Backslide. And overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. In other words, he's, he's teaching what Jesus taught. Jesus taught that. An individual that doesn't know is going to be beat with few stripes. But an individual that knows is going to be beat with many stripes. Jesus taught that once an individual gets swept and clean from their demons and the devil comes back because they haven't uh, put any wisdom and knowledge within themselves, he goes and gets seven other demons. Amen? So he'll be worse than when he first started out. That's the price you pay. Amen? For being in. I know this ain't no shot about it. That's all right. Let's put ourselves out here with them. Amen? Amen. You don't want to lose out on this. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey! Hallelujah. Notice this. Y'all ain't know some black stuff. That's why I'm like, oh, I hear you. And it says here. Verse 21. Thank you. He says, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness, then after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment, delivered unto them. That's some weighty words there. That's some food for thought, isn't it? He said it's better for individuals not to have known it than to turn away from it. You know why? Because you don't lose your consciousness in hell. And you remember the power of God. You remember the word of the Lord. You remember the praise and the worship service. Amen? You remember how God brought you and delivered you. Amen. Jesus said himself, he said, he said, those that go to hell are uh, going to experience weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. Hallelujah. So, and Jesus taught in the book of Matthew chapter number 7. Remember when he said that I'm going to show you a wise man that builds his house upon a rock when the storms come, and the winds come, and beat upon their house and it falls down. Those that build their house upon the sand, the storms come, the winds come, beat upon the house, and it falls. And then he added a phrase, and he said, Great is the fall of them. A saint of God, falling is a great thing. Amen? It, 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 when I say a great thing, it means it, it's, it's not taken lightly in the kingdom. Amen? It's like a, a soldier has fallen and 
falling on the wrong side. Amen. Just think about somebody that you trust, that you suck with, that, that you ate with, that, 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 that you prayed with. All of a sudden got caught up by the devil, and the devil came away. There's a great loss that you have as an individual that you feel for that soul. Follow? Uh, don't, don't discount your salvation. Don't, don't neglect your salvation. Don't take it as a life. Amen? Amen. I'm going to thirst after right now. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lord. Let's see here. Verse 22. Be right there. But it was happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog had returned to his own vomit. And the sow that was washed to her bubbling in the mind. What that simply means is those that are beguiled by false prophets are really, really were not with us in the first place. And they are returning back to their former way. In other words, they left the way of evil and entered into a way of righteousness, but never really left. You follow? Yes. The way of evil. Yes. That's a bad position. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I hate to end up on that note. <laughs> but go <God> is great. <laughs> All right, any questions on our Bible study? Hallelujah. All right, God. I ain't doing this. Amen. Thank you. All right, well, we certainly thank God for you all for tuning in. You